Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, the goal in the last last minute, you know, always um, always is good to score. To be honest with you, um, I think I think we play good enough to deserve the point. Uh, the change there. Um, were you originally going to take Balshin off, and then Dilly came up injured at that point? Because you had the two up. Was that the the plan to take Balshin out? No, just that was the plan to confuse in New York. And then, uh, 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 well, we we were trying to put that back in player. So uh, obviously, you know that. Uh, Somebody had to go off the field, and then um, um, you know Justin was going for basically Bolchan, but um, but I was worried about Delhi, so um, I asked him for last time whether he can go, and he said you know it's very very questionable, so I decided not to take Bolchan off. What was his injury, Dilly's? Uh He got kicked in the first half, you know, when the mega cross. I think he had uh, kicked in the ankle that uh, you know he had some problems before. Uh. Bobby, can you assess? Generally, the first 91 minutes of the game. We'll talk about the last minute of the game too. But overall, I mean, you know, just the way you played. Uh, they control possession, which is a bit unusual for your team. But how would you assess the first 91? Uh, I think they control the possession in the first half. I agree with that, but I don't think they could control the possession in the second half. Uh, I think we had uh, we, were, we were we were more attacking team. I think we were um, uh, going for the goal. Um, I can't remember them being in about on the box for the first 25 minutes. To be honest with you, um, but uh, I think we, you know, even in a, this first 90, 91 minutes, I think we deserve to score a goal. And then uh, and, uh, I think, but uh, I think one-one result is fair. Conceding one in the tenth, that's two weeks in a row. Another early one. Those are killers, aren't they? Uh, probably we're gonna consider, you know, for another one probably in the first ten uh, sooner or later. But uh, I think you know, the question is what the response is gonna be from the team. Um, I think we rather score in the first ten minutes than give up the goal. But uh, seems like you know, um, uh, tactically a little bit in the first half we didn't do what we supposed to do. Uh, and it's in the second half it was much better. Francis's substitution was that uh, to cover for Rogers' speed and uh, kind of take off a tired Gardner or was that also an offensive substitution to, to go kind of both ways? Um, Gardner was cramping, so that's why you, uh, we had to take him off the field. What can this do for the confidence of a player like Balsh? He's been struggling defensively for you to be able to get a goal and contribute to the team. Uh, that's great that like he scored a goal. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a very emotional goal and then his last minute and then a point on the road. Uh, against New York, so um, uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's that's a great start for him. What about Justin and his play, and setting up the goal? Yeah, that's what we were hoping, you know, he's going to take the ball and he's going to use his speed and then uh, we, were wait, we were waiting, waiting, and then uh, he did in the last minute. Uh, Mendoza, again, a lot of chances at the sitting header there. Uh, looks like he's back to struggling again. I think I think you have to look at positive. He's in the right place, in the right time. So uh, obviously finishing, finishing is, is the other thing, but you know, at least he's getting chances. Those uh, two first-round draft picks hooking up, uh, I think both both turned some heads when you when you took them in the first round. Uh, but are, are you know are they kind of justifying the reason you took them in the first round? Are we seeing why? Oh, oh you know, Rich is playing every single game, so uh, I think with uh, with more games, I think he's gonna get better. I think today was uh, his uh, second game in the middle of the field, and then uh, you could say that you know he was covering a lot of ground, and then. Uh, uh, also, always on the ball. He's not the, not the cleanest one, but I think you know is a. Uh, good to have him on the field. Um, and Justin, uh, you know, that's his. Uh, uh, you know, 20 minutes or 23 minutes when he came in, and uh, I think he shows sign, signs of responsibility, uh, and that's what we're looking for as a team. Uh, and obviously that uh, um, he shows also what he's capable to do uh, on the flank, and that's uh, you know that show, he shows that during the practice, and we're hoping that he's going to do it today, and then he did. Rogers and uh, uh, Henri really frustrated uh, in the first half. Marshall and James uh, seemed to, to kind of take care of that problem in the second half. Is there any defensive adjustments or any any tips on on how to handle the, their speed? I think we squeezed the field. That was a problem in the first half. We gave them uh, was uh, too much space between the midfielders and the defenders, and that's why they were chipping the ball in that space. And then uh, Henri and Rogers were be able to uh, control it. In the second half, we squeezed the field, and that's why you know Henri was five side, five time offside, and probably Rogers was six. Uh, but that was a tactical adjustment. You still haven't won five games now, but do you feel like this might be the spark the team needs? Uh, my thing is the same for New York. I, I don't think they won in the six. I think you know, so like you said before, sometimes the team it goes to the um, uh, the funk that you know he's not scoring the goals, but you know you, you get the point here and there, and then 
with a good performance, I think you know we can build on. A good way to uh, head into a week when you play two home games, though. Good, good way to, to, to finish it off before you do that. I mean, obviously, obviously you'd like to win the game. There's no question, and they play to win. Uh, but uh, but uh, the, the next two games they were going to be very, they're going to be very um, interesting and very important for us, very difficult for us. Um, but uh, but you know, but I think we. Again, in the second half against Chivas, in the second half here, we showed the sign that we can be a very, very good team, um, create the chances, um, and then and playing good soccer. So um, hopefully we continue to believe and then, um, uh, and then play with the confidence. And that's what probably we're missing right now is some, some confidence. Uh, but, you know, if you have a new group, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's taking a long time to, do, um, to, uh, to build that. Bobby, you know, we, where we sit in this, in this stadium, we get to maybe see you a little more. Um, your demeanor tonight, uh, you know, was more gray hairs than usual, more uh, more rises in blood pressure than usual. I mean, um, you, you know what? Um, I, I, you know, you're gonna lose some games, or win some games, or lose some games. But if you lose some games, you lose it um, uh, when you play the way you're supposed to play, the way you're supposed to soccer is supposed to be played. And then, uh, if we do something, you know, in a uh, in a training ground and we don't transfer it to the game, that means that you know I'm getting gray hair, and that's what I'm worried about. Um, because you know we have to trust and we have to believe that the way that we practice every single day is the way that that we can win a championship. If we go and do something here on the field that is really really opposite, we, we can win it. Did this game take any years off your life? Uh, it's, it's not, not really. I mean, it's a, the, the, the thing is, I'm frustrated because of the tactical things that we we do on the field. I mean, uh, like I said, I can lose the game and then not 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 have a you know gray hair, but but you know. If, if, if we, I'm a coach, and we're teaching uh, players do this and that, and then they transfer, to the, they go to a game and do something different, then, then it's, it's just frustrating. And uh, one last question. You talked about uh, a lot of new faces and needing time to gel. Uh, do you think you have all the, the right new faces to, to kind of take the next step, move towards the playoffs and, and towards MLS Cup, I think, is still the goal? I, I, I think we still have a time to bring some players. Obviously, you know, is a, is a transfer window is going to be open soon, and then... Uh, uh, the way this league operates, you know, we're going to have in the month of uh, uh, July that we can still trade the players. Uh, so um, I think, you know, uh, whether this is the final project, product, no. I think we, um, if we, if we want to win a championship, uh, we, I think we, um, we are capable of doing, um, but we have to play better or we're going to have to bring some players that, you know, help us doing some things that we actually are not doing right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.